Siddur Stimpet Siddur is a generous response for the Saka family and Ayalit and Avram Foreman. We're on the 16th bracha of the Amida, the bracha of Shema Kolenu, the generic bracha, the culmination of Bakasha, in which we are given the template, but we are encouraged, invited to insert our own. And that's evident in these next, uh, this next insight. We've gone through all the uh, expressions. We last left off the Avudraham versus uh, Rav Amram Gaon and the Girsa of Kikel Shamea Tfilos Seinu Vesachanuneinu or Kikel Shamea Tfilos Vesachanunim. And we follow the opinion of Udraham, Kikel Shamea, God is described as a God who hears our Tfilah and our Tachanunim. What's the difference between Tfilah and Tachanunim? We don't have synonyms, not in the Tanakh, not in the Siddur. We don't have uh, redundancy. So what's the difference between Tfilos and Sachanunim? So Rav Avram ben Agra, the Gra's son, says it's the following. Tfilah is cheshbon u'machshava she'orecha adam imkono. Tfilah is the calculation, the thought process that a person has with their creator. It means the strict tfilah, the template, the liturgy, the language, the sitter, the text. That's tfilah. What's tachanunim in contrast? Tachanunim is not just to deliver and discharge an obligation, not just to recite a script or words, tachanunim are what we bring to it. They are the tune, the nusach, the heart, the meaning, the presence, the mindfulness. That's what we bring to it. In fact, he explains that's the Gemara in Brachas. The Gemara in Brachas, Dav Chavchev, tells us, Hauset filaso keva, ain't filaso tachanunim. A person who makes their tfila kva or keva, person who makes the keva, it's not tachanunim. What's the difference? If you make a keva, it's not tachanunim. What's keva? Keva means fixed. The Gemara itself wonders that. On the next daf, chavtes, my keva, my keva, kol mi she'ena omra balashan tachanunim. Which doesn't seem to help. Person who makes their tefillah keva, it's not tachanunim. What's keva? Not tachanunim. <laughs> what does that mean? What the Gemara is getting at is, tachanunim has a fluidity to it. It's fluid. It's personal. It's individualized. It's relatable. It's relevant to your life. It's what you insert. It's what you add. It reflects the changing day, the changing person. The keva is the established, the fixed davening. And we need that. If we didn't have a fixed sitter, if we didn't have established and fixed davening, there might be days we wouldn't daven. If we didn't have this obligation to daven, and we didn't have a set text of davening, there might be days that a person would say, I'm not in the mood, and they therefore wouldn't daven. So we need to have the fixed davening. But if all we have is the fixed davening, then what do we have? If it's keva, it's only discharging an obligation, putting a check mark next to something on a checklist, then it's not really a communication, a conversation, a relationship with Hashem. So if a person makes their tefillah keva, if your tefillah is just, what do you mean? I read all the words. I made it through the sitter. I finished the machzer. I said the words. If you do that, they're not tachanunim. Tachanunim is from the heart. It's real, it's conversation, it's adding additional to what we see. So therefore we describe Hashem as kikel shomea tefilos. Hashem hears tefillah, but he hears what type of tefillah? The tefillah that's offered how? Tachanunim. Kikel shomea tefilos v'sachanunim. He hears the type of tefillah, which is not just a checklist tefillah, but rather is a tefillah that's described as a tachanunim tefillah. The Meshachachma has a similar insight. The Meshachachma describes, we know that the uh, Torah talks about Becharbi Ubekashti. Becharbi Ubekashti. He got ready with his sword and his bow. And Unklus Taiches, Unklus translates, what's Charbi and Kashti? Tzalusi Ubevausi. Tzalusi is a Seder Tefillah HaKavua, which means the fixed words, the template, the liturgy. Beusi are the personal Tefillah. I didn't just say a script, but I filled that script. I complemented the script, supplemented the script with my own heartfelt tefillah. So the Meshach Chochma says, Tzlusi v'usi char biukashti is tefillos and tzachanunim. And that's what we mean here when we describe Hashem in this way. He doesn't just hear lip service davening, the type of davening that we just deliver because we read and we put a check mark and I said what was in the sitter. That's not what he hears. He's a kel who shomea. What type of tefillos? Tefillos that are tachanunim. So that's Shema Koleinu. Shema Koleinu is the bracha that is the biggest and most wide open invitation that says, 
before we conclude the bracha, Kiata Shomea, talk to Hashem. What's on tap today? It's the beginning of the day, Shacharis. What's on the agenda? What do we need His help with? Where will we turn to Him? Towards the end of the day, what are we grateful for? What went right? What do we still need His help with? But to insert, it shouldn't just be tefillah, it shouldn't just be I said the words, but it's up to us to individualize them, transform them into sachanunim by making it personal to ourselves.